This is Rigoberto Aran's Cannondale Super 6 Evo High Mod. Now we're told by Cannondale's head mechanic Jeff Brown that Rigo is not a tinkerer. He's a relaxed kind of guy and as long as the bike works correctly and is the right size, he is a happy man. But a lot of thought has gone into this bike because it is far from standard. So let's take a closer look. Let's start with the heart of the bike then, Cannondale's Super 6 Evo frame. Now it was refreshed in 2015 with the idea being to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. You can clearly see that's not the main function here. It remains one of the lightest frames in the Peloton. We've quoted 777 grams for the frame and just 280 grams for the fork. And given that Rigo rides a 50, this is probably even lighter than that. It's also one of the few bikes left in the Pro Peloton that has relatively traditional geometry and that makes it stand out as well as that lovely paint job which I really really like. Now one of the interesting things that Cannondale have done on this frame is actually spec a 25mm seat post. So the standard really is about 27.2 but by having a smaller diameter seat post they're trying to get a little bit more comfort because essentially the post will just flex more. And then Another little nod to comfort, Rigo's chosen the alloy railed Physique Aliante saddle. So the carbon rails, while being lighter, are also stiffer. So that is going to be an even more comfortable perch for him. Onto the group set, and we've got Shimano's Durace Di2, but it's certainly not standard. So if we look at the rear derailleur first, you can see that burner cage. So the idea is that you get much larger jockey wheels than a standard Durace chain set. And because of the larger diameter jockey wheels, that means that there's less friction on the chain. So they quote about a three watt saving at 250 watts, which doesn't sound like a great deal, but that probably would take quite a bit of time in training to get that kind of improvement. So it's certainly not to be sniffed at. Now, as well as the non-standard derailleur cage, you can also see that Rigo is not using Durace cranks. Those are Cannondale Hologram SISL2 cranks, which are supposedly some of the lightest in the bunch. And he's also got an SRM power meter on there, as you can see, and FSA chain rings. Interestingly, He's not using a common 39 tooth inner ring, he's actually gone slightly smaller on a 38. The whole team's running them, giving them a really nice bottom gear 38 matched to a 28 at the back. And seeing as Rigo isn't the tallest of guys, he's also using 170 millimeter long cranks. Wheels are the very new Mavic Cosmic Carbon SLCs. So they've got a slightly wider rim profile on them and they've also, Mavic, have abandoned their really narrow aerodynamic profile. They've gone for a now slightly more common wider profile. But what sets these wheels apart is the braking surface. And so essentially they've taken off the very top layer of resin on the carbon and that makes the rims a little bit more abrasive, apparently making the braking much, much more effective. Tyres are Mavic tubulars, 25. I'm going to get some calipers on that though because that looks quite a narrow 25. Now we're told that although these are super light wheels, actually Rigo will swap them out for the even lighter Cosmic Carbon Ultimates on mountain stages. So although they'll then have to add more weights to the bottom bracket, he likes the feel of the super light Carbon Ultimate wheels. Moving up towards the cockpit, Rigo's got a pretty long 120mm long FSA OS99 stem that is slammed right down onto the top cap. And then he's also using, wait for it, alloy handlebars, FSA Energy, and their really nice compact shape. And they're pretty narrow, measuring up supposedly 40 centre to centre. Now, how cool is this for a little pro modification? So, again, head mechanic Jeff Brown pointed out that they made a little modification to the bottle cages in order to really grip the bottles hard when we were on the Strada Bianca just a few days ago. So, when you take a closer look at this, you've got Garmin mount, the little rubber bands you get when you buy a Garmin, and then that's zip tied onto the cage and basically makes it a little bit tighter and it really does grip the bottles pretty tightly. Moment of truth now, the GCN scales. Let's take his bottles off. Full, ready for training. 7.05. Got 100 grams to lose, Jeff. Yep. Doesn't happen often on GCN, but we're going for a reway. So we've now got Rigo's lightweight climbing wheels, the Mavic Cosmic Carbon Ultimates, and we've got 23mm tyres on. 
Let's see what we get. There we go, 6.945 kilos. And he's got a Garmin on, and we know he's also got 150 grams of weight in the bottom bracket. That then is Rigoberto Aran's Cannondale Super 6 Evo. And it's gotta be said, I am a big fan. Not least because I absolutely love that color scheme and those graphics. Now, if you wanna see more pro bikes, then if you click just up there, our playlist has every single pro bike that we've ever shot in one handy spot. Or for more content from the Giro d'Italia, which is where, as you can see, we are right now, then click just down there to get through to that playlist. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe.